are. Now we have to apologize for all the yeah. wind noise. Our mics just took a dump. Yeah, they did. So mm -hmm. we're gonna he's gonna work on it at home and see if we can get it to work. I don't know. Yeah, so we have to go old school. Yeah. Uh, no mics. Yeah. Right behind us is Aea Bowl. We haven't been here in years. Yeah, now it's funny, they have an amazing restaurant yes. inside of a bowling alley. It's called the Alley Restaurant. Yeah, right? So who would have thunk that you could get good eats at a bowling alley? Yes, just like in Gardena Bowl, huh, baby? That's right, back mm -hmm. back home. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to go inside and see what they got. Yeah, we're Let's ready. Go. Let's yeah. go inside. <laughs> the menu for the alley restaurant here at Ideable. This is a pretty good size menu. Here they have all of their appetizers and you can create your own pizza here because after all it is a bowling alley. They have then, pizza too over yeah. here, yeah. Then here are their meals. They're known here for their tasty chicken, which we got, and loco moco and their oxtail. Yeah, so I got the, uh, the combination. Yeah. Uh, right here, the mixed plate. So I'm getting the uh, tasty chicken, local local. And we even have desserts. Yeah, so we're gonna see which one they have or which one that they uh, recommend. But they're all like baked in house over here. So yeah, we're ready. As you can see, the bowling alley here is very popular with family. They're having a good time over there. Check it out. I like the lighting. I think they have something called cosmic bowling here. Maybe at nighttime they kind of turns into like a disco party. I don't know, but it looks fun. But look at the bowling alleys. Actually, where the pins are, it's all lit up, baby. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, pretty cool. Alrighty, Bill fixed the mics, and so let's try this out. And we got, I got the oxtail soup. Here is the rice. Here's a sauce. It's a little bit different sauce than I'm used to. Here is the ginger and the uh, parsley. Look at that plate. It's like a half plate, which is kind of cool. I'll put that down here. And of course, the oxtail. This is what they're known for. Look at the way it looks, that deep, rich color. I can't wait to dig on into this. Look how rich in color this looks. This is by far, about a, out of all the oxtails I've had, this is probably the richest color broth I've seen. Let's go ahead and try this out. Oh yeah. That is tasty. Very tasty bot. You can tell it's rich in flavor. You can see tell that these oxtails have been boiling for a while. Look at how it's tearing away from the meat. Right there. It has really good, really good good rich beef broth flavor. I love all the vegetables in it. And let me try this sauce. A little bit of my salty side sauce. Oh yeah. Maybe it's gonna be good. Maybe that sauce is meant to dip your oxtails that's in what I'm when you take it off the bone. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking because it tastes it tastes kind of like a tempura sauce and it has some sort of it tastes like they have some sort of radish in it that you mix tempura. The, the, the meme sauce and the, and the tempura radish, that's what it tastes like. That's good. I know this is going to be a tasty dish. Oh yeah. This is my combination. Check this out. The tasty chicken. This is marinated in their own special house-made tasty sauce. And as far as the loco moco, the ground patty is also house made. The gravy is house made. Everything is from scratch over here, including a scoop of mac salad, a couple of scoops of rice. I think these guys are having a great time over here. I think someone just hit a strike or something. But yeah, look at this. I love this combination. Let's try this out. Here we go. It's a little bit on the sticky side. You can see that glaze that's on there. It's 
So these are like, um, I don't know if they're boneless or actual bone, because it almost looks like a flat or a chicken wing. It's boneless. Wow. This has a nice sweet glaze that's on top. And the batter over the skin is, is nice and crispy. Yeah. I can definitely hear the crunch. I don't know if it comes through on the mic, but this is really good. Nice and tender. Cooked perfectly. And look how many pieces come on my plate. There's at least six, no, more than that. I mean, eight, eight base pieces at least. Yeah, it's really good. I added my parsley and my ginger into this oxtail soup. Look at this, you can tell how well it's simmering. This is legit. Pretty much coming off the bone with hardly any effort. Big chunks of meat. I'm gonna go ahead, try this out. That is a great flavor. That is absolutely delicious. It has a perfect amount of fat and beef to it. Let's dip it in here now. I've never had this type of mixture in to dip with my meat. I'm usually the hot mustard type person, but this is delicious. It has that little bit of like, that little bit of like um, tart or like vinegar taste along in there and I would never normally get it but this is really good a little bit of the soup oh yeah rice right here this is a very tasty local mocha compared to the local mochas I've had I mean local mocha this is a very delicious oxtail I was looking at his local mocha this is a very delicious oxtail. This is my local mocha right here. Compared to the oxtails that I've had, this is, I can say this is one of the top ones. Is it the top one? Mm, I like the peanuts like that King's has in theirs. This is a good one. Um, I'd rate it with the top, but I don't think it's the best one I've had. But this is a really good one. They put lots of gravy on top of this local mocha. Here we go in for the break. Oh, look at that. That patty comes through right down there. I see it poking through. My mouth is watering right now as I kind of dredge it through this gravy. Let's try it out. Here we go. You can't see it through all the gravy, but that burger patty has a nice char to it. You can just see it, look at that. Great char on that burger patty. And that brown gravy just adds to the whole richness to the whole dish. And the mac salad. Noodles, nice and creamy as well. A little heavy on the mayo, so if you're a fan of mayo, this is kind of mac salad that you really enjoy. But the, but the loco boco definitely is the star of this plate right here. It's meant to eat it, has be eaten with a little bit of rice and that gravy, the egg, and the patty. Everything here. Oh yeah. This is where it's at. Very good local mocha. First of all, I wanted to add, they don't go cheap on the oxtail. There's tons of oxtail in here. And they have peanuts. Well, they have I found peanuts. it. Maybe, this, maybe that's the only one. More, yeah. But I find it. But just, the oxtail is very good. Soup and rice. It's my jam right there. This is really very hearty. Now they have all kinds of desserts over here. All of them are house-made with the exception of two of them, the carrot cake and the chocolate cake, yeah. right? 
So we had to get one of their specialties and their popular ones, the lemon crunch cake. Look at that, all the way to the back. So let's try this out. It's really good. You know, we, we like lemon cakes. Even like uh, citron flavored stuff, right? So here we go. Great lemon flavor. What really stands out is that crunch. That little crispy bits. It's almost like little toffee. Little caramel toffee flavor to it. Adds a great crunch element to this cake. This is delicious. It's like three layers to it. Excellent, excellent lemon cake. My turn. I am such a fan of lemon. And again, this is what they're known for. Oh, and you can buy them whole as well. Mm, the cake is very moist. That crunch is like a toffee, a toffee crunch, it is. And it's not extremely sweet, it's sweet. I can definitely use some coffee with it, but it's not too sweet. It tastes also like a, a bit of caramel in it as well. The lemon, very slight lemon flavor. This is excellent. That's a wrap from the uh, alley at Aya Bowl. Yeah, it got busy. It yeah, got it's busy very there. crowded. I can't yeah. believe how crowded it is during the week. Yeah. Like, it, everyone's out. The whole yeah. family's are and, out. And, every, and those uh, lanes, they didn't stay empty for long. When one family left, another family came in. And then now there are lines going in to go eat. So we came at the perfect time. Perfect time. And uh, there are 26 lanes here. Yes. 24, um, I thought. Uh, 24, yeah. 24. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, we were going to go to Ala Moana Mall, mm -hmm. but they close at 8 p.m. during the weekday. Yeah, it's a little bit past 7 now, so we're not going to make it. Yeah, yeah. So, Better uh, save that for another trip. Yeah, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Uh -huh. So we're going to close it off for tonight because we have the entire day tomorrow here. We do. Mm -hmm. So uh, stay tuned to those adventures. You know it's going to be fun. You know it is. See you in the morning. Good morning. We are staying here at the Waikiki Outrigger Beachcomber. On yesterday's vlog, we gave a uh, resort tour, but I'll give you a quick shot of what our room looks like. And we have a great view from our balcony. And this is 6.30 in the morning. You can see that it's not uh, light out yet it's still kind of dark but the ocean uh, we're just right over there it's a very uh, partial ocean view room but we thought we'd start out with breakfast here at the hotel because we saw that they have some acai bowls and some waffles can't go wrong with that combination so we see you downstairs. Good morning. We are trying out breakfast at our local hotel spot, Hawaiian Aroma Cafe. Let's go. Let's go. They have a lot to choose from here, anywhere from a really good hearty breakfast to and acai bowls. Yes, there's acai bowls right there. Uh, examples of like the French toast and mm -hmm. waffles. And they even have things for later in the day. And here's their menu. Oh, they're waffles right here on this side. Uh, smoothies. And look at that, you and bagels. This one, uh, just a regular bagel. Mm -hmm. Look at pineapple coconut bread. It's a little bit different. Oh, yeah. Of yeah. course, your uh, your juice is here. Your parfaits. Uh, yep. Some waters. And of course, uh, the coffee. So I'm not sure. I might get a juice. I might get a juice this morning. I think I might get a coffee. Yeah. Uh -huh. The... Which one should I get? Should I get the French toast or the waffle? French toast. French toast. Yeah. I got the caramel macchiato. I took off the cap and I kind of licked the, the cream. It's delicious. Let's go ahead and try this out. Oh, 
Oh yeah, this is delicious. It has a perfect amount of caramel. It has that little bite of the coffee, a little bit of sweet, and it's drinkable, so it's not extremely hot. This is good, you're gonna like this one, baby. I give this a try, but this is what I got this morning. I got the Hawaiian Sun Guava. This is my favorite guava juice over here. Um, you know, they actually sell this back in the States, so if you ever see it around, try it out if you haven't already. Oh yeah, let's try this out. Oh, that's good. Very good. Well, this might go up against uh, our, one of our favorites, Honolulu uh, Coffee Company. Mm -hmm. yeah. you never it's know. really good. Yeah, it is. It's very good. Waiting for our food? I got the French toast. I couldn't decide between the waffle or the French toast. I got the French toast here, um, recommended by our uh, person at the register. So look at these beautiful berries, two beautiful flowers, cooked really well. So I'm gonna go ahead. Look at that, not, not soft or, or mealy inside. I'm gonna dip it in my syrup. There we go. Perfect French toast, cooked in a perfect way. It's a good starter for the breakfast. We're gonna share the breakfast, but I got the acai bowl. Look at that, it is beautiful. Perfect the way it's cut. It's very artistic. You got your banana, strawberries, some blueberries, some shaved coconut, and some granola on the bottom. I can see some honey also drizzled on it. Let's check it out. Oh yeah. You gotta, you gotta go deep on this one. They put all the toppings on. Huh? Yes. They didn't go skimpy on the toppings. Oh no, they didn't. They looked like um, some almonds. Mm -hmm. Maybe some uh, toasted almonds on there. And they make them to order. So if you are allergic to something, they can take it out. Cold. This is nice and cold and delicious. You know, sometimes you order acai bowls and it's, uh, it's a little too watery. No, not this one. This is still like Stuck. kind of partially frozen, right? Yeah. That's the way we like it. Yes, the almonds gives it that nice little crunch in it. Yeah, this is um, this is delicious. Perfect way to start this and my my guava juice, and of course a little bit of those French toast. And we are off and running today. We made it. I'm no more than what 10, 15 minutes when we got on the freeway. We're here. So the yeah. freeway wasn't busy at all. No, no, it wasn't. Uh, altogether, it took about 30 minutes from Waikiki mm -hmm. to here at the Aloha Stadium. So now we're going to walk around and see what kind of deals they have. Yep, and I think this one runs on two Wednesdays and Saturdays or something, maybe? Something like that. Wednesdays and the weekends. Wednesdays, I would say a lot of the people are here. So if, you, if you're if you here on a Wednesday, it's worth definitely visiting. Yeah, I'm sure it's yeah. more crowded on the weekend. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but a lot of vendors are here. Your souvenir shopping they have some unique gifts here because graduations are coming up look at they've already made it for class of 2024 yeah little already, uh money lays yeah they've already made them for you nice and they're all different kind of lace too mm -hmm. and auntie nancy yeah. loves these shoes it's some uh, slippers yeah she loves them so far we've come through a lot of uh, thermal bags it's a pretty neat one right here. It has all of the little airport codes, like a Masubi one. Right. There's tons of clothes. Hawaiian shirts, you know, those your Aloha shirts, and matching uh, adult dresses and family yeah. as well. We see a lot of those on this one. A lot of jewelry. A lot of food. A lot of food. Um, they have uh, some Hawaiian snacks. Mm -hmm. I, I saw uh, a acai bowl place. Yeah. And what's different here is look at these Hawaiian, these Aloha shirts. They're of the like totodon stuff. Oh yeah. So everybody's still looking around. There's a again a lot of a lot of here. If you like those little hair flowers, tons here for like a dollar each or like a pack of twelve for like ten bucks. So it's really good deals so far. Let's go finish walking around. Yeah, we gotta get yeah. some banana bread over here. Yeah. She's back here at this well. I mean, you guys gotta. She is. <laughs> yeah, we have all different kinds of it from chocolate chip. Wow. They look to the delicious. regular ones. Well, we're going to get that couple of them to take yeah, back. The regular banana sure. bread and then 
the banana custard coconut. Yeah, that's that's oh, different, right? Yeah. Yep. That sounds like delicious. It does. Yep. We're gonna get some. Uh -huh. Look at all the uh, fresh fruits over fresh here. Fresh fruits. Look at these are with leggings. Oh, they got oh, the mango already. with the leggings. That right. looks really good. Oh wow! Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And they have all your little toppings over here. Look at that. Oh, here's the watermelon. I know. It's kind of making my mouth water. I know. It's my favorite. I know. Is your mouth <laughs> supposed to be watering as you're walking through? I think so. I think so, right? From Aloha Beef Chips, of course, we got our beef chips. So this is actually like beef jerky, but it's made in a chip, so it's very thin. This was Erin's order. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Aaron is our daughter for the for the new viewers. Yeah. So she asked uh, us to pick up a couple packs of yep. these. So we got a couple packs for her. Yep. This is it right here. Real nice folks here. They are. Yep. And it was a good deal. Yeah. And we got a couple of new flavors for us. We did. That's a wrap from the Aloha Swap Meet. Mm -hmm. Is it worth coming here on a Wednesday? Yes. Especially if you're looking for trinkets and deals and stuff like that. Uh, less crowds, a mm -hmm. lot of vendors are here. Oh, yeah. Worth coming on a Wednesday. Yes, now after all this walking, it's time for lunch. Yes. We made it to our lunch place. We are in the heart of Chinatown. We are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are at the Kaiya. Kaiya, I think that's how you pronounce Poke it. Poke Provisions. Yes, it's right across the street from a park. Um, mm -hmm. There's a lot of street parking, and this is only a to go place from what we know of. Yeah. So we're going to go get something. We hear it gets really busy. They're known for cold ginger for one of their sauces, huh, baby? Yeah, well, they, I believe they specialize in cold ginger uh, poke. That's what it is. Cold mm -hmm. ginger poke. Yeah. Yeah, so that's uh, very unique. I've it never is. heard of it anywhere. We got to try it out. Yeah. That's, that's it. it. Yep. Running around eating. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here's the menu, and this is the uh, poke right there, the cold ginger. But they have all these other ones as well, and other items. We got the goods. Uh -huh. it, it, they do it by the pound, so it's a little less than a half a pound. Mm -hmm. You open it. Oh, yeah. Oh. You can smell that ginger. Here's the onions and green onions in there. This oh, looks yeah, absolutely look delicious. Oh, look how does. fresh that poke looks. And so, you know, like like I mentioned, I haven't seen cold ginger poke anywhere. No. So look at that is the bite. There we go. Now typically you like the uh, the cold ginger, uh, cold mm. chicken, right? Mm -hmm. The high end chicken. Right, the high end. Mm. Perfect amount of ginger. You don't get that spiciness from the ginger. You can taste the ginger, you can taste the onion, and the fish, the fish, the fish, the fish is extremely fresh. This is delicious. This is going to be easy to eat. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Let me try some of this yeah, out right I'm gonna here. I'm going to give him the perfect bite. This yes. Here. Has a little bit of onion, mm -hmm. has that ginger in there. Here we go. Mm. I lost your onion. On my shirt? Sorry, babe. Oh, that's a good flavor. Isn't it? And mm -hmm. he's not a big ginger fan. Mm. But it's a good flavor, isn't it? It is. You know what I like about it? It's very unique. Mm -hmm. And the ginger, we I like ginger, but when you eat a lot of it, it gets spicy. This one just has the hint of the taste of the ginger. You know ginger is so good for you. My oh, baby. Nice and cold, fresh. Mm -hmm. The onion really gives it that freshness. Yeah. Well, ginger, if you're looking for something different, I you just need a bowl of hot rice on this one. I know. And I know that some people, I mentioned it yesterday, they're like, why is Lisa always feeding you? I'm holding the camera mm -hmm. with my left and I'm holding the lid with my right. And so I have That's the hands to feed. Yeah. Here we go. And this place also does their house-made soy sauce. So if you get soy sauce, book it. It's a house-made soy sauce here too. So for right. this trip, we're doing the cold ginger. Maybe next trip. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. nice, very nice folks in there. Mm -hmm. You can tell family. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and uh, the, the owner, he's a retired Hawaiian Airlines guy. Yep, and yeah. you gotta support the <laughs> support small, our local. Yeah, support local mm -hmm. small businesses. Oh yeah. Very limited hours here. Yes. So mm -hmm. um, you just check the uh, description and below. And limited days, I think Wednesday through Friday, Saturday mm -hmm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's Perfect. go. Next spot. Yes. 
For those that watch one of our really old Honolulu yeah. food vlogs, mm -hmm. we went to Ichiba. Yes. I think it deserves a second visit. It does, it does. It's been two years at least. Oh my gosh, ago. no, I'll Four think about years? seven years. Has it been that long? Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's been a while. Last time we got the chicken wings, but I think we're gonna get a bowl this, this time. time. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think this is, we're gonna share it because I think we're gonna do one more stop after this, right baby? Uh, we're always up for more food, right? Yeah. Yeah, so let's go. So this is their menu right here. They have all different kind of bowls and stuff. But I think we're gonna go for this one here. This is the combination of the fried chicken bowl and you get a soda of your choice. That looks really good. I love that they put like the, so the sauce glaze, some aioli or something, some, I don't know what that is. I don't think it's sriracha mayo because it's not hot. But that looks really good. Uh, this is a takeout only place, a uh, small parking lot. It's almost like Alicia's Market, it's just in the storefront parking. Might be parking along the outside, who knows. But here we go right here. Let's dig into this. Oh man, that, that poke we just had, that was like a good appetizer, but uh, Oh, careful. My gosh. You almost lost it. My heart dropped for a <laughs> sec. Here we go. very crunchy there are a lot of pieces going on over here i was trying to get some rice but there it is just like buried under all these chicken pieces boneless and you know what it does have a little kick to it so i wonder if it is a little sriracha mayo going on but man this is delicious i love that it has that nice crispiness to it is it crunchy yes very crunchy it's almost like it was deep fried in like rice flour maybe or some cornstarch so it's not your typical like uh, bread ready mm. there's the rice I found it way at the bottom Yeah, highly recommend this one. This is a good size bowl. It's definitely a shareable bowl. Get that chicken. Mm. That chicken is extremely crunchy. Even with all that sauce on it, it just hasn't softened up or anything. It still keeps that crunch. I got a little bit of the rice. Mm delicious yeah we're gonna go ahead and share this bowl and then go on to our next adventure okay. yeah and you know we we hit it just right before lunch because it's kind of empty here it's one other person ordering mm -hmm. lunch right now yep yeah, perfect that's a little bit before 11 right now and it opens at 10. oh yeah i'm glad we're gonna share this one we're getting full from this thing from Itchy Butt. So for meal-wise, they we may not make another meal. Sorry for the wind, guys. We may not make another meal. We probably will get dessert, but we change locations because look at the view of our lunch. Yeah, we are at the Alamoana Park. What's cool about this is there's parking on the street. On the street, and it's free. Yeah, it's all free parking. And the beaches are a bit less busy, less crowded over here. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to finish up our lunch and enjoy the view. They have surf lessons going on. It's kind of cool. And what's really neat is that it must be low tide or something because all the way out like in the middle of this beachy area, people are walking around out there. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I've very low tide. Before. Yeah. extremely clear so clear that you can see all these little frags and anemones and everything that are on this rock it's pretty cool oh yeah look at that it's 
so peaceful over oh here, my huh? Gosh, this is beautiful over here. Yeah. We're here at the Alamo and the Mall. Mm -hmm. We're looking for some cookie places, right. and there has to be two here. Big Island Candies mm -hmm. and the Cookie Corner. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go walk in, plus we're here for a little bit of a dessert. We're looking for the place, I know it's somewhere around here because it looks like in the map it's somewhere around here. So we're just looking for it. Yes. Here's the first place, Big Island Candy. Let's go Let's, look inside. Yeah. Look like you're gonna get free samples, go ahead. Oh yeah, we do. Oh, thank you. Oh yeah, there we go. How is thank it? You. Oh. It looks like a brownie. Yeah, it's really good. Right? Look at that, as soon as you walk in. Mm -hmm. I mean, the brownie's being really sweet. That's an excellent brownie. It's very good. Not extremely sweet. Mm -hmm. Getting a few things here. I'm gonna have some good stuff here. This is a lemon brownie. Oh yeah. Because it's warm outside, I don't want anything chocolate covered. Lemon brownie. And look at this. This is like a palmier's. This is the furukake kind, which is the sesame and seaweed. Right. This is the original. Oh yeah. And this is a cinnamon. Okay. So these look really good. Yeah, I'm getting a regular uh, buttered shortbread. Mm -hmm. Just can't go wrong with the regular yeah. one, right? So we're ready to check out. We're at Cookie Corner. It is literally about five stores down from right. the Big Island Candy. Now, Sean, our, our friend, Hawaiian traveler, he gave us some Cookie Corner. They're delicious. It kind of blew us away. Yeah, it did. In fact, I think that's one of the best cookies you could get on Oahu. Uh, we love the peanut butter cookies mm -hmm. uh, from Donna's, which is yes. available at only certain food lands. I think we only found the one, the food land in Kapolei. Yes. Uh, Donna's cookies only. Yeah, so it comes far. in like a, a, a tub with a plastic red yeah. top on it. Mm -hmm. But those are excellent, and this is excellent. And we're passing by it, and you can smell hot chocolate chip cookies. Oh, yeah. Now, you know, we'll, we'll be honest here. We used to be fans of the Honolulu Cookie Company. Yes. But after trying this, the shortbread is good, yeah. and they're all over the place, but yes. when you're in Hawaii, you got to go to the other places. Yeah, so they're yeah, delicious. so keep note, guys, uh, cookie corn. Mm -hmm. We're going to go get some right now. You know why you can smell it? They're baking it fresh. And like, the smell is intoxicating. Yeah. It really is. Check this out. Look at the size of these cookies. Good morning. How are you? Hi, good morning. Thank you. And they also have brownie are cookies. Are you in some cookies today? All of them. Yeah, all of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looks really good. Look at that. Man. Look at that peanut butter, baby. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm all about the peanut butter and stuff, so yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, we're going to go look at the, uh, the gift boxes inside. So when you can't decide which cookie to get, go for the island style assorted. It's got like four or five different kinds in here. A chocolate chip and the oatmeal raisin are really good in here. There's Jiju Bing. Yeah, there's C's. And here it is. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's a Korean dessert. They just opened up. They open up at noon. And we're gonna go order something. Yeah, and uh, just the parking lot is just right on the opposite side. But yeah, it is a little difficult to find. It is. It says uh, it's right on the outside portion of the food court, the Makai Court. You come out the door and make a left, you'll find it. And it's also next to the, uh, the, the, cookie, the cookie corner that yeah. we were just at. It sounds like the normal market. Uh, in LA? It's like, oh, we should have gotten that other one. Which one's picture? Uh, oh, yeah. 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 Is there like a really What this is called is called Bingsu. We got this with Aaron when we went to the K Town tour, huh, baby? Yes, and in so, uh, Los Angeles. Yeah. So what this is is underneath is like ice milk. It's almost like a shave ice, but instead it's ice milk that's here. This one is a tiramisu one, and this is the mango one. This is the condensed milk that you just can pour on top. And they put uh, what sliced almonds or slivered sliced almonds, almonds on uh -huh. both of them. Yep, and condensed milk. So, which one do you want to try, babe? Oh, you know what? I, I'll go for the mango. Okay. 
So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna leave it. It's really sticky on the bottom. And so we're gonna leave it on the tray. This is what it looks like underneath. So it's almost like snow. It's like a ice snow that you're gonna be eating. Let's try this out. Ah, uh, it's cold. It is delicious. It has chocolate chips in it. Wow. This is cool. It has almonds in it. In here, it has like, it feels like chocolate also in it. Let's try this again. You only wanted to get one, but I remember eating this with Aaron in K-Town when we did the tour, and we wish we got another one. So that's why we got the mango, and he's gonna try the mango out. This is delicious. It's a nice, refreshing dessert. Here we go, a little condensed milk. Being all fancy with it, look at that. Mm -hmm. Make my own snow cap. Let's try this out. You can see it's got the little slivered uh, almonds in here as well. A little bit of whipped cream. Oh, that's a good bite right there. Here we go. You know what makes it is that nice cold mango. You love that fresh fruit on here and that that milk ice, that shave. Interesting, it has a little flavor, so it's not like regular shave ice. So it has that nice milky flavor to it. So if you want something different than a shave ice, I would recommend yeah. this one. It's, yes, it's different and it's delicious. That'll do it from the a la mm -hmm. That was delicious. Yes. Here's it right back again. Jujubing. Jujubing. Dessert yes. Cafe. It, again, it is a, it's different than shave ice, but if you want something, if you want something different than shave ice, I recommend this one. It's so yeah. refreshing. Get the mango pro tip. The right mango there. was really good. The yeah. tiramisu was good. It was good. I like the mango really a little bit better. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna cut away now. We're gonna go ahead to the Alani for dinner, but it'll be on a separate vlog. Yes. And then uh, we'll catch you when we get back. We are back from the Alani. Mm -hmm. So uh, we had a great dinner over there. We be did. Make Excellent. sure you catch that video yes. when it comes out. Yes. Yeah, so now we're back in Waikiki over here. It's like 9 p.m. and there's like a lot of people. It's lively. It is. Uh, considering when we came in on uh, Monday, right. um, or Tuesday, we came in on Tuesday, it's much more busy today, which is a Wednesday night, than mm -hmm. it's been for the whole days that we've been here. A lot of people here, the music is jamming right now, but we gotta do a little bit more shopping in ABC. Yeah, which so, happens to be just right next to the hotel. Yeah, I was which is actually at. right behind us, right, right. there. Yeah, so if you yeah. love ABC, uh, come with us. Yeah, oh, and it's kind of sprinkling it. Yeah, it's been kind of sprinkling all day. Yeah, yeah let's go. Here we go, let's ABC go shop time. It. Great they, deal on shirts. Yeah, they, yeah. they still have the, the good deals. Four for twenty. Great for uh, souvenir shirts, including uh, Year of the Dragon. Look at that. Of course, you got your sale on macadamia nuts. Hello. Thank you. Your usual stuff here: keychains, all these macadamia nuts to go. Um, a lot of shirts. Clothes right? and yeah. all these little scents. Actually, we got a. We got an order from Linda to buy some lotions. Yeah, so which is uh, my sister, Linda. Yeah. She uh, put in the request yeah, for so a the couple. the ones on the bottom. Yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah. That's it. I think she wants some of these uh, lotions over here. So we're going to pick those up. Uh, candles. Just a lot of stuff over here going on. And, you know, the ABC really store cute. here is different than the one in Las Vegas. Yes. So these are really cute. Of course, all Hawaii themed because we're here. Look how cute these characters are. And they've gotten a lot more since the last time we've been here. Yeah. Look at these. Oh, look at those. They're like little mystery ones. How dangerous. Yeah. Ten ninety nine. And uh, a whole bunch of t-shirts against the wall over here. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the good things is, in case you forget some of the toiletry stuff, they do have a big area full of toiletry items, including this side. Even some uh, some medicines, mm -hmm. right? So if you, if you need anything, you forget anything, they definitely have it here at ABC. 
This isn't the biggest ABC, but this is what they still have. Yeah, so they have your um, dinners packaged up, meatball, spaghetti, shrimp cocktails. And they have a microwave in here, uh, too. So you yeah, can warm do. up all of this food. All right, and look, no shortage of Spam Rooster Bees. A whole bunch of them. And how much are they over here? Oh, there's the price. $3.29. $3.39. Oh, this one has an egg. That's yeah, why. Yeah, and they have some hot ones already, too, baby. Right. In this the is, hot section. This is a plain one. There you go. It's two thirty nine for a plain one. And if you just want it hot, they do have these right here. Oh, there you go, two thirty nine. So these are definitely ready to eat. But anything that's cold, you got a microwave. And they do have some fresh fruit here, including Turkey. some pies. Watermelon. Oh, look at these. Red oh. bean cake. Oh, a little mochi. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this. That's good. Banana cream pie. Mm -hmm. And ube. Mm -hmm. yeah. and these are still a great deal. For this size water, it's $1.79. That's a, that's a key buy. Yeah. Right. On the other side of the food, they do have some cold sandwiches, submarine sandwiches, some sandos, and salads. Not in this ABC store, but in some ABC stores along Kalakaua, which is the major street, they have these already inflated for you, so you can take them straight to the beach, which yeah. is pretty much about across the street. It's across yeah, the street. They have air compressors, but they, not, not this one. But they also have uh, scuba gears. So this is alternative to renting some. You could just buy your own over here. And it's as cheap as like $9.99 for a set. So we've been trying to grab these in the past couple of trips, but we never can because we always get too full our uncle's ice cream. So we're gonna grab one today. Yeah, this are uh, made locally here in Hawaii. Yeah. But I think, I think I like that rich Hawaiian coffee ice cream. But... Oh, these are the different flavors. Yeah. These are really good, high quality ice cream sandwiches. Uh, which one are you gonna get? I think I'm gonna get this one, the coffee one. This one here, okay. I don't think we tried this one. So they're priced at seven forty nine over here, and it's pretty much the same price no matter where you go. Mm -hmm. And these are I've seen them only here in Hawaii, and I've seen them in Vegas, yes. but only certain places in Vegas. So we're gonna try this one. Uh, which is uh, Any Le 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 Leilani's uh, Leilani attic. attic. Yeah, mm -hmm. they have it. Yeah. We're going to wrap things up over here from mm -hmm. Waikiki here inside ABC. Yeah. Uh, we uh, have an early flight tomorrow morning. Oh, very early, mm -hmm. like 7.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, we got our uncle's Goodies. ice cream. Mm -hmm. So we, we're going to take that back up into the room, eat it before yeah. it starts melting. And, and I can always tell you now it's already delicious. I already know. Yes, yes. So get in good. when you can. Yeah. So uh, it's been a fun two days here. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, can't wait to come back. I know. So. Right. We shall see when we come back. Yeah, we, we don't know when. Yeah. yeah. But it'll be soon. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Yeah, so thanks everybody for watching. What is, where's that guy over there? There, there you go. go, okay. And uh, stay tuned for our next adventure. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Yes, oh, and thank you for everybody who said hi to us. I forgot to thank everybody. Yes. Who said hi to us as we were walking around. Yes, appreciate it very much. If you see us, come say hi. Yeah. So, bye. Bye.